What's going on everybody? Welcome to another Python with Flask web development tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to utilize SSL so you can have HTTPS on your website. We're going to be using Let's Encrypt for this, and this is totally free, and it's actually really, really simple, especially with Apache, uh, which is what we're using with Flask. So let's go ahead and get started. So the website that I'm going to add HTTPS or SSL to is cyber.io currently you can you go there and it's just straight up http and i think it's really important that we encrypt this website so let's go ahead and i'm going to move this aside and this is the website for let's encrypt it's just literally let's encrypt.org and um, there's a couple of ways you can get to the steps that you need to do but we're just going to go technology how it works go ahead and click on that and these are the three steps that you're going to take. That's those three steps plus one more thing is really all you need to do. But actually there is one more thing we have to do. We have to kind of prepare ourselves for this. So um, coming back over here, let me just show you. Um, currently, let's see if this is even handled. No, uh, currently like I can bring over cyber.io but if I go www.cyber.io, I get the Apache configuration page. Now I've shown you guys one way to handle for this, but it turns out there's a better way to handle for www and every other um, kind of subdomain basically. Uh, so the first thing that we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go do uh, nano slash etc Apache2 sites avail available, and then ours is was flaskapp.conf. Go ahead and hit enter there. And you'll see here we've got server name, cyber.io. And the way we worked around this before was literally copying all of this, pasting another one, and just changing the server name to cyber. Uh, www.server or www.cyber.io. Anyway, uh, but that's not going to work. That's going to make uh, Let's Encrypt angry and we won't be able to do both names. So instead, what we'll do is we have server name is cyber.io but you can have a server alias so we'll do server alias and server alias is going to be server alias will be www.cyber.io and um, that's really all you have to change so let's go ahead and control x yes good uh, and then we're going to service apache to restart and um, that may not, that should happen pretty quick actually. That should be done. Yeah. So now www.cyber.io works. Of course, if you don't, ha if like www.cyber.io doesn't point to anything, i.e., if you go to your, your DNS record and you don't have a C name for www, it's not going to work anyways. But this is assuming you added a C name for www. Okay. So moving this over, um, what we're going to do now is. Uh, we're going to do the let's encrypt. Where did I stuff let's encrypt? I have too many monitors. Okay, so these are the three steps you wanna take. Currently, we're in the root user directory. Probably don't wanna stuff it there. So we're gonna change directory into var. Um, actually, hmm, let's change directory. This will just put us probably back in root. Let's cd um, back to this and then Let's encrypt. We'll put it here. That doesn't exist. So let's um, make dir let's encrypt. CD, let's encrypt. Great. So now we're going to run these three statements. Now you might not have JIT, so you want to make sure that you have it. So just do apt get install git. Yes. Great. Once we have that, I'm just going to be copy paste that's done the next one is to, to just cd into let's encrypt hopefully that double name won't get us in trouble um, and then we're going to run this auto let's encrypt auto help okay and then whenever this is done we'll be ready to um, actually add the SSL certificate. And this part's actually really easy. It's a little harder if you have a different um, server backend, but Apache is just like all automated here. Still waiting on this though. It's taking forever. 
So how's the weather? <laughs> I'll put this picture up. <laughs> I like that comic. I don't want to have to pause this. Everyone else is probably having to wait this long. But this is taking a long time. I guess I'll pause. Okay, it's done. It actually pretty much finished as soon as I hit pause, as as it would be. So, <laughs> anyway, um, hopefully it didn't take that long for you, but I wanted to pause just in case it was going really quick and you guys were just waiting on me. So now what we're going to do is, is period forward slash let's encrypt, let's encrypt, and then uh, dash auto, no space there, dash dash Apache dash D, and then this is your dash D for domain. And then one of the domains is going to be cyber.io, and then dash D again. The other domain is going to be www.cyber.io. Everything looks good. We'll go ahead and hit enter here. And this process can sometimes take a little bit too. Um, but basically what it's going to do, okay, first ask for your email address. This is kind of silly. I don't know why. The, I wish it was optional. If you skip it, you can skip it. Um, and it just kind of yells at you a little bit. But if you ever like lost anything, you would just regenerate a key. Like it's so simple to regenerate the key. So I'm pretty sure I would just do that. So anyway, yeah, read the terms and all that. Blah, 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 blah. Hit agree. This might take a second again. Normally it's even faster than this. I'm surprised that it's taking as long as it's taking. Um, I saw an error. I don't know why I did that, but uh, anyway, you can either choose to allow people to have HTTP to like access via HTTP, or you can choose the secure, which basically forces it'll redirect all um, all requests to be over HTTPS. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and hit OK here. And congratulations, it's done. You can test your configuration by going to either of these um, examples because those are the both domains that we did. Um, but I'm not really going to worry about that. And then when you're all done, you can come over and just literally refresh. And boom, you now have HTTPS. And then we can also go to the regular version. And again, that's HTTPS as well. So now you have HTTPS, it was totally free and it was very, very fast. So that's pretty cool. If you're like me, I was like super excited when, when it was like that simple. <laughs> so if you're using Nginx, I have a version for, for that as well. It's a little more in depth. It's like a few extra steps, but it's really not that bad. Um, so I'm moving this over. Uh, one thing I'll just draw your attention to is normally getting S, first of all, getting an SSL certificate is a pain in the butt, getting it all installed and set up pain in the butt. Everything is just so difficult, but this was just sweet, super easy. So normally, it, and it also costs a lot of money. So um, one thing that'd be nice if you have the money to spare, go to letsencrypt.org slash donate, give them like five bucks or something. Um, and that'll go a long way because that was just, that's crazy easy. So anyway, a couple things to note, these certificates are 90 days. So you need to re up the certificate once every 90 days. Um, you, you, you can do it like once a day. I mean, you might actually probably run out then, but like once a month or once every, you can set an alert somewhere just to do it. And literally all you need to do to re uh, do the certificate is literally that same thing we just did. You just run this command and it'll reissue you a certificate. And that's, that's it. It's so simple. <laughs> I think it's awesome. A um, couple things to note. If you have any links on your website, obviously for us, we generated our links via the, um, generally a variable, but if you have any links uh, and you're, you're linking to an HTTP address, you will break this connection. It'll be like a so it'll be like black and white rather than green. That's what's happening. You, you've got some insecure elements on the page. One thing you can do is every time you link to something, rather than linking to HTTP colon slash slash or HTTPS colon slash slash, you link to simply slash slash in the URL and all that. And that will work both with HTTP or HTTPS. But if you use the static variables and stuff, especially for elements within your website, that's already handled for in the back end. Anyway, um, that's all. If you have questions, comments, concerns, something didn't work out for you or whatever, uh, let me know. Leave your questions, comments below. Uh, otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support subscriptions. And until next time.